Claude is my coding partner. We design together, we refactor together, we build systems together. But when the context window fills up, we have to start over. It's like 50 first dates. I lose my best colleague every session. Everything I taught Claude about my style, poof, gone. Our working agreement, forgotten. Our shared understanding is reset to zero. But there's a solution, a knowledge base that gives Claude continuity. Nine files that teach Claude who we are and they can access it at any time. Let me show you the difference it makes. Let's dive in. Hello world, I'm David Scott Bernstein and welcome to The Passionate Programmer. Every Claude session starts the same as a blank slate. I explain my coding style, my testing approach, my principles. We build momentum, get into the flow, and then the context fills. Poof, it's all gone. The next session, it's like starting from scratch. But what if Claude could remember? What if everything you teach would carry forward into future sessions? That's what a knowledge base does. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to build one. In this video, you're gonna discover how to create a knowledge base that solves the biggest frustration in AI coding, starting over every session. I'll give you the exact nine file structure that preserves your coding style, your working agreement, and your partnership with Claude across every conversation. By the end, you will have a system that makes Claude remember who you are, and that changes everything. Two weeks ago, I was teaching Claude my style every session. It was exhausting, repetitive, and slow. Then I built something, a knowledge base, nine files that capture how we work together. Now every session starts from where the last one left off. I'm not making a fresh start every session. It's a continuation, and that changes everything. Let me show you how to build a knowledge base for yourself. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the exact system that transformed my partnership with Claude. You'll see the nine files that give Claude continuity, memory of your style, your principles, and your ways of working. No more re-explaining. No more starting from scratch. Just pure partnership that builds on itself. Session after session, Claude Code's context window is huge. 200K tokens. That's the size of a big novel. It feels like it's a lot of room. But here's what happens in real work. We have a complex refactoring, 50,000 tokens. Another 50,000 to test the updates, have discussions, iterate a little bit. 60 more. Suddenly you're at capacity and everything resets. You lose the understanding that you had, the patterns, the decisions, the why we're doing things. When that gets lost, Claude gets lost and we start disconnecting. We're gonna change that in this video. I'm gonna show you how to create a knowledge base so that Claude has a constant reference of who you are, what your core practices are, and how they work together. When I initially asked Claude, to build a knowledge base for me. It said, sure. And it built a folder structure with over 186,000 characters. It was enormous. And it did explain a whole bunch of stuff, but I thought it was too much. It needs to be accessible and usable by Claude. So <laughs> I pared it down to simply nine simple files in one folder. That's what I want to show you. These nine files describe our working agreement, our programming style, the way I build test first and the practices I use so that Claude and I are on the same page with how we build together. So what goes in a knowledge base for Claude? Not code. What we're doing is we're preserving how we think together. So these nine files are all about solving one problem, which is collaboration. Index.md is our roadmap that Claude reads first. 
and refers to the other files as needed. The style guide is our coding voice and pattern. The philosophy are the principles and the whys of why we work together. It's really important to give a backstory and help the AI understand your reasoning, your purpose for doing things, because that will help them find better solutions for us. So the way I see it is there's different levels of working with AI. So I think there's three levels. The first level is how, and we describe things in terms of what we want it to do. Then we start to think about, instead of implementation, we think about the end result that we want. And that is really thinking about the what. And there's a really, really powerful way of working with AI. But then if we go even deeper and start to talk about why we want it, what our motivations are, what our purpose is, then the AI can even go further with us and start to make deeper suggestions. That's in our philosophy.md file. We have a working agreement file as well. And this is how we collaborate. We have a file that helps us with our testing and ensures that we do test-driven development throughout development. I have a file where some, with some basic refactoring patterns that will grow as we build. We have a design patterns file that lists some of the patterns that I use mostly. Domain language, which talks about the project's vocabulary and is incredibly valuable. This is another thing that I think is really valuable, is to have a lexicon of the words that we use. Having a domain language file can be very useful. And then we also will memorialize our key decisions in our decision file. Those are the nine files. Each one is a conversation that we're trying to preserve. And each one is dynamic. We continue to grow it as the conversation continues. Let's start with the index file. This is what Claude reads first. It's a map of the other territories. Here's our style guide. It has our coding voice. Here's our working agreements. It's how we collaborate. This is our philosophy.md file. It holds our principles. Our testing approach.md file has our TDD style and how we do test-first development. The refactoring patterns file tells us when and how to refactor. The design patterns file lists patterns that we trust and work with. The domain language file includes the terminology that we use, our project vocabulary, and our decision file documents our architectural choices. These nine files change how I work with Claude and how Claude works with me. At the start of every session, Claude reads our style guide and working agreements, then references the other files when they're relevant. We work together, we propose updates when we learn something new. Notice I'm telling Claude what to read and when, the style guide and the working agreement, every session, but everything else, they read it on demand. This style guide is in my voice. For code organization, we use pure domain logic, no dependencies. We have the infrastructure at the edges. Our tests verify behavior, not implementation. These are kind of non-conventional things. And so having them documented allows Claude to focus on the way I build. Naming conventions and other conventions are also important like verbs for functions, calculate total, not total, nouns for data, user account, not get user, explicitness over cleverness. Our rhythm is also documented, the red-green refactor cycle. And this we do all the time. We do small steps, frequent commits, and we refactor constantly when tests are green. Our communication style includes asking clarifying questions, before proposing solutions, we explain why, not just what. And we push back when something feels wrong. Encouraging Claude to push back is really important because they might not if you don't explicitly ask for it. You know, AIs try to be very likable and that can sometimes get in the way, especially if we're trying to do things that maybe are, have better solutions 
So I always ask Claude to push back when it doesn't feel right. But these aren't rules. It's teaching Claude how I think. Notice I'm not saying do this. I'm saying we do this because it's a partnership agreement. Here's our working agreement file. Our working agreements define how we collaborate, how we handle disagreements, how we gain momentum and learn together. When we get stuck, we stop generating code. We step back and we discuss. We're defining how we think together. This makes every session feel like a continuation, not a restart. These files are all in the repository. So you'll find the link in the description and you can check them out in detail. And you can copy them and use them for your own development. If you do, I'd love to know what you think, how it works for you. So please let me know in the comments. Now here's how Claude actually uses the knowledge base. At the start of each session, Claude reads the index.md file and then loads the styleguide.md file and the working agreements.md file. Now every response is informed by the way I work. Here's the step-by-step -step process to create your own knowledge base. One, create a knowledge base folder in your project. Step two, start with index.md. This is our map. Step three, create a style guide. This is how you write code. Not generic, it's your actual patterns and preferences. And I suggest you spend some time with Claude to see what Claude's defaults are so you don't restate them. Just state the things that are different from how Claude normally works. Step four, create a working agreement. This is how you want to work and collaborate with Claude. These are your ground rules. Step five, add other files as needed. Don't write them all at once. Build them up as you go. Discover what matters. Step six, reference these files in your prompts. Say, Claude, read knowledge base slash index.md at session start. That's it. You've built continuity. It's that easy. Now here's what most people miss. The knowledge base that you build has to grow with you. How does it evolve so that you can learn together? That's the key question. A knowledge base is not static. It's a living document of your partnership. Every session you learn something. Oh, we should handle this situation differently. So add that learning to your knowledge base. When you make an architectural decision, log it in decisions.md. If you discover a new pattern that you love, add it to your design patterns.md file. The knowledge base becomes a history, a documentation of your learning process. Every new session builds on the past. That's how you get from assistant to partner. So here's what I suggest. Build a knowledge base. Create a knowledge base folder. Write three files this week, index.md, styleguide.md, and workingagreements.md. Just work with those three. Start small. In your next Claude session, reference the index. Once you feel that continuity, you'll never want to code without a knowledge base again. You'll feel the shift immediately from generic assistant to your partner. And once you experience that continuity, you'll understand why this changes everything. In the next video, we're going to dive into Claude Code on the command line, how we can use Claude Code most effectively and turn the command line into a thinking space. You won't want to miss it. Until then, happy coding.